This is the fastest way I've been able to find a content gap using my actual competitors live websites. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually do this. You can actually click around. This is using Google's Notebook LM, which I believe got recently updated, maybe like within the past few days. So we're going to be using this and it's also completely free to use as well. You don't need it to pay for any tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush. This kind of bases it off of reverse engineering what's already ranking, which is exactly what we want as well. Also, if you guys haven't already, download my SEO app. It is only at this current moment only available on iOS, but it should be live on Android in the next like week or so. Um, we've got live streams in there. We have a course that's like three or four hours long. We have a community section. You can ask myself questions, etc. And again, it's completely free as well. Right. So if you guys have never checked out my website, it is like a, it's like a hub for SEOs and I don't really sell on it. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finding pages that Backlinko has because they're probably the, the most accurate or the most, um, maybe not direct competitor, but they also have articles where they're teaching SEOs on how to create an effective SEO strategy, how to feed LLMs, etc. So what we want to basically do is go to our competitor, right? And then click or go through to robots.txt. Now, this is basically what the robots.txt file is. If you don't know what, what it does or, or why it's there, it basically tells robots like Google and stuff like that where to actually visit. So this is a sitemap. So I've just clicked through to or went through to this URL. And you've then got post sitemap and you've got page sitemap. Now, in some cases, websites use both. In other cases, websites only use one. In this case, Backlinko seem to mainly have a lot of post related articles. So I'm, I'm just going to copy this entire set of URLs. These are basically all of their pages that they've got live. So if I click on to this, for example, they've got how to rank higher um, on Google. If I clicked onto this, for example, they've got six awesome AI SEO tools we love using in 2025. So I'm just going to copy and highlight all of these URLs. They've got about uh, 436, right? So that's 436 pages that we could potentially go after. We're going to copy that and we're going to go to Notebook LM. So this is what it looks like. We're going to create a new notebook and then we've got three different sources that we can use. So we could use Google Drive, like we could actually paste all of this data into like a Google Sheet, for example. We could even give it a, a, a website, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep things very easy. I'm just going to paste the copied text here. I'm going to click insert. Now, the, the beauty of Google Notebook LM is it may, it's super quick right now. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to change over time, but as of recording this video, it's like one or two minutes. Then we can click on mind map. Now we can also give it some extra prompts like, can you group these articles into SEO buckets, for example? So we could use something like that. And again, it'll take maybe a few seconds. Um, and as you can see here, it's also grouped everything together. Now, this is where the beauty actually happens. We're just going to click on mind map here. Again, this should maybe take 10 seconds at most and it'll create a mind map based off of our competitors. So as you can see, it's done, took uh, or finished one minute ago. And if we take a look here, we've got, this is basically the actual homepage. If we just create that to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So then we've got the... SEO and search engine optimization side. So they've got like fundamental guides and then they've got SEO for beginners, SEO tutorial, learn SEO fast, SEO checklist, SEO strategy, advanced SEO, how search engines work, um, white hat SEO, SEO techniques, SEO versus GEO, which is quite obviously a really big topic at the minute. Is SEO dead? Again, I feel like everyone talks about SEO being dead maybe once, once every three times a year, probably. Um, then we've got on-page and content SEO. And as you can see here, they've got an article to do with on-page SEO, title tags, H1 tag, HTML, meta, canonical, content relaunch, which is like optimizing an article after it's been published, maybe like in a month or time or a, a month or two. 
We've then got quality SEO content, SEO content information gain, pillar pages, topic clusters, the list just goes on and on and on. And again, this is only just for the SEO and search engine optimization side. We can actually collapse that back down and go into the keyword research and content planning side. And again, there's a lot of different ways that you can write or there's a lot of different articles that you can do when it comes to keyword research as well. And they've also got like some di some generic digital marketing, so like affiliate stuff. They've got content marketing tips. They've got email marketing. So again, if I was taking a look at my competitors, I would obviously take a take into consideration what I'm going to be talking about. Like for me personally, if I was going to be replicating this sitemap on my website or taking web uh, web pages out of this and uploading them through to my my website, I probably wouldn't speak about email. Um, and conversion that much because again I'm not really known for that I would just keep to only speaking about the SEO side now this is a robots or a sitemap.txt for a dental practice in Miami and again we're just going to do the same thing so we're going to click create new notepad notebook I'm going to paste that in there I'm going to click insert it's going to take do its thing and we're just going to click on mind map and this is basically going to tell us exactly which service pages this website has which blog articles this website has um everything that we basically need to know and again it was the exact same strategy i just searched miami or dentists in miami went to the robots.txt found the site map and now we are using their site map within notebook lm and as you can see here they've got a list of services <clears throat> so general dentistry dental checkup, dental filing, dental crowns and bridges. If we collapse that back down, they've got emergency dentist, they've got cosmetic dentistry, so teeth whitening, for example, smile makeover, they even do Botox. Then they've got orthodontics. Um, and again, if we click on through to this, this is one thing that I would probably be a little bit careful of. So don't just blindly look at your competitor's sitemap because in some cases the about page from your competitor to the about page to your website will will definitely be diff different so just take that into consideration we've also got like resources and education so they've got certain blogs as well so they've got blogs to do with tooth and gum issues and again if we just expand that you can see all of their blog articles on their website and it, again it probably took me two or three minutes for each website so that has been my video on how to do content gap the quickest and most efficient way possible. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and also check out my SEO if you haven't already. Or if you want to work with me, head over to casualdash.com, fill in the contact form and I will be in touch. Thanks for watching.